Good evening and welcome to NTA Lagos Channel 10 News at 7. I am S.A. Owomaka. Tonight, as Nigerian Christians gather to commemorate this year's Palm Sunday, the need to embrace peace, humility and unity among one another has been identified as key components towards national development. Some Christian faithful who observed the service today in some parts of Lagos made this call. Elijah Vito reports. <laughs> Some of the clerics pointed out the significance of Palm Sunday as a victory in every challenge facing individual Christian, as reflected by Jesus Christ. All of us, we need to pray. You know, Nigeria needs prayer this time, especially in next month that we are doing the transition to uh, hand over our government to another government. And I know that uh, God will take proper control. So all of us, we should try to support our leaders in Nigeria so that Nigeria will move forward. It is very significant in the life of every Christian that his job was completed. At this period, we charge all Christians to first of all accept Jesus as their personal Savior and Lord. The father added that it is also pertinent for everyone to portray humility, love and peace toward one another which are true characteristics of Christ Jesus. We need to persevere. And uh, particularly those who feel threatened by, by, particularly because of their faith, they should persevere in it because Christ eventually rose into glory. Therefore, if they persevere in their faith, it cannot end in shame. It will end in glory. We must learn to live together in peace and in unity because without peace, there can be no progress, no development, and there will be no meaningful uh, development in the nation as a whole. So as Christians, we must be our brother's keeper. We must also run away from sin. The Palm Sunday celebration is a tradition in Christendom dated back to when Jesus Christ rode a donkey to Jerusalem with the song of Hosanna by his followers as a sign of victory over tribulation. It also marks the beginning of the Passion Week where he was tried and persecuted. In Lagos, Elijah Vitu, NTA News. Many petrol retail outlets in Lagos and Abuja yesterday closed shops while the few that sold had long queues as motorists waited to fill the vehicle's tanks and buy some in kegs to keep as reserves in the expectation the fuel scarcity could worsen. However, oil marketers assured that, that there was no scarcity and advised fuel consumers known to engage in panic buying as what led to the gap in fuel supply and distribution which resulted in the queues at fuel stations, was a minor operation problem. And now to sports. Nigeria's Golden Eagles defeated host nation Tanzania 5-4 in a thrilling opening game at the National Stadium Dar es Salaam. Our sports correspondent, Benga Lady has the story. The Golden Eagles were lucky to make the trip to Tanzania since Ghana nearly upset their apricot in the regional Wapusom B final match in Niger last September where they triumphed 3-1 after they both tied 1-1 in regulation time. Nigeria captain Tijani Samson is confident his side will secure maximum points in the game even as he acknowledged that they know title or nothing about the Tanzanians. Nigeria won the title in 2001 and 2007. The West Africans have been runners-up twice with the last being at the 2013 finals head in Morocco when they cover blooded the likes of Kreshe and Ashore of Leicester City in Lagos. Binga Uluyidi, NTA News. And that concludes NTA Legal's Channel 10 News at 7. Thank you for watching. I am S.A. Owamaka. And do have a pleasant week. Up next is Moment of Divine Power. Road is never an end road. Follow the road. It will